today we will see the next model of your hci that is hierarchical task analysis or hta so let let us see the name itself suggests that this hta will be in hierarchical in manner so it will have various levels or it will have various layers it will be in the nature of your hierarchy there will be one level level 2 level 3 likewise and the task the complete task is divided into various levels or various under the hierarchy it is the method of task decomposition what do you mean by decomposition decomposition means to divide or to break into smaller part that is your decomposition so hta is the method of your task decomposition means what exactly happening in this in this your whole task is divided into sub, sub task small various task that is your task decomposition is a task is decomposed into several sub sub task that i already told you the output of hierarchical task analysis are hierarchy of task and sub task whatever will be the output whatever will be the final your analysis that analysis will be in hierarchical in nature and that hierarchy will consist of various tasks and its sub tasks hta also plans describing in what order and under what conditions sub tasks are perform what exactly this hta will going to have it will have various types of plans those plans will going to tell you what order and under what condition those sub tasks are going to be perform it will have the proper plan of your task execution task decomposition consider an example of task hierarchy for making a cup of tea now this example will tell you how the task analysis will be in that those who are aware about how to make the tea they can easily understand this example and those who don't know how to make the tea they will come to know the process of making the tea what exactly happening in terms of how to make the tea the main task is make a cup of tea so in this example what will be our main task our main task is to make a cup of tea apne ko kya karna hai yahan pe hame isme ek चाय का कप चाय बनानी है दैट्स इट सो हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ योर एच टी ए दिस एच टी ए विल गोइंग टू डी कम्पोज योर दिस मेन टास्क इन टू सिक्स सब टास्क रिमेंबर दिस सिक्स विल नॉट ऑलवेज बी योर सिक्स इट मे गेट वेरी अकॉर्डिंग टू दी एग्जाम्पल अगर एग्जाम्पल काफी बड़ा है जैसे खाना बनाना है इन दैट केस दिस विल बी मोर देन सिक्स so it depends on how many sub tasks you are going to create but the main task will be this only so consider this example so this is what the task one uh, this is the task which is your hta of making a cup of tea so on the top you can see that our main task is make a cup of tea so what exactly our plan zero will be like this we have to do this so for that purpose what we are going to do we are going to have the boiled water so next one will be we will take the empty pot then put tea leaves in pot then pour in boiling water then wait for 4 to 5 minutes then we are going to pour the tea so this is what the process of you are making the cup of tea so in this you can see the sub uh, six sub task are this is your main task zero will be your what it will be your main task and this main task will be divided into your these six sub task sub task number 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so these are your then this sub task 1 will again divided into more sub task like this 1.1 how to boil the water then for that purpose you have to fill the kettle then put kettle on hob then wait for kettle to boil then turn off the gas so this is again this sub task one that is boiling water will be divided into more sub task like this so when you are going to follow this structure you will be at the end of this step number 
your main goal have been successfully achieved so you can observe that this making a cup of tea example will going to divide this your task into these sub tasks and this is hierarchical in nature so you can see this is level 1 level 2 and level 3 so this is how your hta is or your hierarchical task analysis is whenever you will get the any example in the examination what you have to do is you have to do like this you have to form its hierarchy and under that hierarchy you are going to write down various task and its sub task what are the uses of this task analysis why to do the task analysis for manuals and tuition task analysis will always be useful in doing the your manual activities then requirement capture and system design this task analysis will going to capture the requirements and it will going to have various system designs then it will be useful in detail interface design whenever you are going to focus on the interface design and when you wish to do the detail interface design in that case the task analysis will be very important and it will play very important role while focusing on your hierarchical task analysis or simply task analysis again when you are going to have the requirements or when you are going to uh, gather the requirements in that case your task analysis will again the very important task that needs to be focus while requirement gathering so these are the various uses of your what task analysis so let us see the first one manuals and tuition just for example when you are going to have the task to make a cup of tea what you are going to do boil water empty pot make a pot then you are going to wait for some time and you are going to insert the tea into the your boiled water after that your this task make pot so how to make a pot of tea so this is what you are going to do exactly in this phase yahan pe aap dekhiye yahan pe ye jo bhi diya hai इसके भी क्या हो जाएंगे आपके फिर से सब टास्क आने वाले हैं सो हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू डू दिस सब टास्क ऑफ दिस देन अगेन यू आर गोइंग टू राइट द सब टास्क ऑफ यू आर मेकिंग अ पॉट ऑफ टी इज लाइक दिस सो दिस इज व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू डू मैन्युअली देन रिक्वायरमेंट कैप्चर एंड सिस्टम डिजाइन हाउ द रिक्वायरमेंट कैप्चर एंड सिस्टम डिजाइन इज यूजफुल फॉर योर टास्क एनालिसिस टास्क एनालिसिस कैन बी यूज्ड टू गाइड द डिजाइन ऑफ न्यू सिस्टम यस the main use of task analysis is to provide the guidance for the designing of your new system requirement capture is the process of eliciting the what a new system should do yes you might be knowing about now ab aapko pata chala hoga ki requirement gathering exactly kya hai exactly requirement gathering mein kya hota hai requirement gathering or requirement capture is the process of eliciting or finding what a new system should do whatever new system you are going to develop under your software development life cycle your new system what it should do that is your requirement capture is so requirement capture is very useful in case of your software design or your software development task analysis is not a form of your requirement capture as it refers to existing system not a planned system task analysis is always going to refer to what your existing system task analysis will not going to focus on what you are going to plan or what you are going to develop it will not going to focus on your planned system task analysis will always be focusing on your what existing system it will going to take the reference of existing system ye mere existing system hai mujhe is existing system jaisi hi new system ko kya karna hai new software ko develop karna hai on the basis of that the task analysis will going to perform its activity it includes many elements which are not the part of the system so the, it will have various parts of analysis next one is your detail interface design the third use of your task analysis is your what detail interface design 
the top level menus can be labeled after the top level decomposition and sub menus after next level etc so what exactly the detail interface design is interface design mein aapko ye pata chalega ki ye mera menu hai that will be my menu or that will be the main menu but detail interface design mein kya aapko pata chalega ki us menu ke under kaun se kaun se sub menus hai next level pe kaun se menu uske next level pe kaun se menus hai which are the various sub menus of that menu that will comes under your word detail interface design ya fir agar aapke uh, application mein kuch form hai to aapko sirf itna dikhega interface design mein ki yahan pe kuch to bhi form hai but when you are going to focus on detail interface design it will going to tell you that after submitting the data with that form where that data will go that is your the part of your detail interface design detail interface design means exactly it will go in detail it will not be the overview it will be in detail for this tree may be first reduced to simple tree this guaranteeing that each object or action is under exactly one menu is case mein aap kya karoge is case mein aapka focus rahega aap kya kijiye simply use tree like structure mein divide kar dijiye isse aap kya karoge tree like structure mein divide kar doge aur usse aapko pata chalega ki wo jo tree like structure hai aapka us structure mein aapke मेनूज कौन से है और सब मेनूज कौन से कौन से रहने वाले हैं दैट यू आर गोइंग टू फोकस अल्टरनेटिवली मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स ट्रीज अलाउिंग एंड एंड और एक्सर ब्रांचेस कैन बी यूज अल्टरनेट अगर आपका ट्री और कॉम्प्लेक्स होते जाता है ट्री मतलब क्या है यहाँ पे आपकी हेर की रहेगी मतलब आपकी हेर की या फिर आपका जो कुछ भी वट वी कैन से डिटेल इंटरफेस डिजाइन जो भी है वो डिटेल इंटरफेस डिजाइन को जब आप ट्री में कन्वर्ट करोगे दैट विल बी माय मेन मेनू दैट विल बी माय सब मेनू अगेन सब मेनू जब आप इसे इस वे से ट्री लाइक स्ट्रक्चर में डिवाइड करते जाओगे तो उस केस में आप क्या करोगे यहां पे आइदर दिस और दिस इस वे से आप डिटेल इंटरफेस डिजाइन ड्रॉ करते जाओगे इन दिस केस एन ऑब्जेक्ट और एक्शन मे बी फाउंड बाय सेवरल पाथ्स थ्रू द मेनूज इस केस में क्या होगा आपके वेरियस मेनूज विल कम्स इनटू द पिक्चर और उनका जो कुछ भी पाथ है वो कौन से पार्ट से कहा पे किस वजह से डाइवर्ट हो रहा है वो पार्ट यहाँ पे आ जाएगा आपका सो दिस इज व्हाट द यूज ऑफ योर टास्क एनालिसिस इन केस ऑफ योर डिटेल इंटरफेस डिजाइन